A new Gallup poll suggests that going to prestigious colleges uh, doesn't actually make us any happier in life or in work. Uh, this comes from a survey of 29,000 college graduates by Purdue University, and let's look at findings. Five in six report doing great in at least one sphere, a sense of purpose, financial security, physical health, close relationships, or community pride. Only 11% are thriving in all five areas of well-being, and the percentages did not vary based on whether the grads went to a top 100 school in the US News and World Report rankings or one of the bottom 100. So this is kind of interesting because we put so much emphasis on going to the right college, no matter how much it costs, and apparently it costs a lot these days. Um, I, I went to a New York State school, SUNY Binghamton, uh, which is a perfectly fine school, pretty good academic school. I smoked a lot of pot there, I learned some <laughs> stuff. I studied politics, so I guess uh, something translated into my life now. Um, does this surprise you or, or not surprise you that going to these better schools isn't actually equating to any sort of bigger sense of fulfillment in life? It's surprising to NPR, who, who <laughs> thinks that, that uh, you know, academia is the end all be all. Yeah. No, it's not surprising to me because, well, first of all, Purdue also is full of miserable people. I'm from yeah. Indiana, and like, yeah. that's why you would probably think that if you right. went to Purdue. Well, the study was they, by they, Purdue. But wasn't I, see, all, I think a little bit of uh, right. a little bit of tampering might have gone on there, so they would uh, just try to. There's a little it. shouting. From yeah, that's right. <laughs> Got it. Um, no, I didn't go to college in the traditional sense, yeah. meaning I didn't go to college. Oh. Uh, I went for a, about a year and a half. Well, I did not. No, the true. booker did not it's tell true. me that. Uh, I, this seven. changes. Uh, and uh, I got lucky that I am working in an industry where it doesn't necessarily, uh, you don't have to go to college <laughs> to work in television. Um, but you know, <laughs> the there's a lot of, of talking the about industry things of talking about that things that are important. <laughs> I know I just discredited my entire <laughs> self. But you know, you can read a lot. The access yeah. to information is like I, I went to college with a lot of kids. I hire a lot of college kids, and they're really dumb. They're yeah. like drunk. They they have this sheepish mind <laughs> mentality that like sorry sorry guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, uh, you know, it's it's just I think that at least to me, as I've gotten in my older, my, my later 20s, I realize that it's a lot less important about where you went to school and more about like what you can actually do on a daily basis and how like connected you are with knowledge. Yeah. yeah. So what does this say about our college system? Because you like to think that if you go to a good school, you will get a good job, you will have more money, you will somehow be happier. I think that's sort of the theme in America, that that's sort of how it's going to work. And yet we're finding out that that's I think it's wonderful. I think it's fabulous. I'm glad to hear this because, you know, so many of the people that I've met, you know, just from just all walks, who are talking, who will talk about how, oh, you know, you had to go to a prestigious university if you wanted to get into this echelon of society. And if that means that you can still be happy and still have a fulfilling career and still do work that you think is important and, satisfac and satisfactory to you, then it's wonderful that you can go to just a regular old state school and still be able to achieve those things. You know, one of the things that they don't talk about in this uh, particular study is about the network that you get from going to an elite mm -hmm. university. Yeah. So I think that can have a very large impact on your ability to get a job right out of graduation and the industry of your choice. But beyond that, if it doesn't make you happier, I think that that's really a boost to everybody who, who wants to go to college and then feels like they're somehow starting off at, at a deficit because they didn't go to an elite university. Yeah, is this also part of this thing that, that colleges, people are talking about this now, that colleges are pricing themselves out of relevance, that people, we don't have a great economy, obviously, people can't afford to go to these places anymore, and then they're finding out that college graduates aren't getting the jobs that they used to get. So is college as like just a general thing becoming somewhat obsolete? I mean, if you ask me, yes. Coming from the guy that <laughs> you know. Uh, and yeah. the reason I didn't go was because I had used college as a way to open a bunch of doors where I could like work my ass off and then have opportunities that it happened way sooner than I had actually planned on. That was like for me, you know, to work with, with Larry King, it was like I couldn't pass up that opportunity to have that happen for yeah. me. So it was like I probably would have continued to go to school. I just got really lucky. And, you know, I have the idea that like for the pursuit of knowledge, I would probably go back someday if this whole thing goes away. So, you well, know. you know, now there are issues with, uh, you know, in some places, like if you needed to get a job in a in a regular industry, not yeah, an not entertainment some goofy or yeah. joke. Yeah, well, industry. I don't call it a joke industry. I mean, more like if you need to get a job in an engineering field, yes. then you must have yes. that. If you want right. to work in one of these other, you know, capacities, you must have a degree. So, knowing that it's actually possible is is pretty cool. But you know, remember, there's a student loan crisis as well, mm -hmm. and I think that also negatively impacts people's happiness and satisfaction later on when you 
are, I don't know, struggling under a crushing debt. So yeah. you're saying if you went to a prestigious college and then you got out of it and you were $100,000 in debt, it might affect your it may uh, affect. general state of well-being. Yeah, you might life. be a little less happy about stuff. You know, but there was a good, a good point in that article, uh, in that specific study, about how good teachers good teachers and good mentors really made a big difference in those people that reported high satisfaction. Mm -hmm. So I think that that is a, a great avenue to, to look at. You know, how do we get better teachers? You know, because if people are satisfied with their lives 10, 20 years on because they had a teacher who cared about them, who was a really good teacher, you know, I think that, that shows one, a, a great avenue for which, you know, through which we can create you know, better outcomes for people, focusing yeah. on the teachers and the mentoring. And sometimes you can get that teacher in high school. It doesn't have to right. be from college. And, but uh, good teachers being, being this, this launching point for a good life, I think that's really neat.